How is everybody doing today? My name is Shizoba and Yoha, and welcome to The Pickup, where we talk about all things unfamiliar. Now, I have a very special guest with me. Her name is Melissa. She is currently 16, a sophomore in high school. I go to Urban Academy Laboratory High School. And David Hazard. David Hazard. How are you guys doing today? Doing good today. How are you? Uh, no problem. How are you doing? So how are you guys doing? I have, I'm good. good today. Great. Great. Now the interview is about um, sign language. Uh, Melissa, she usually talks to her dad. Um, father, sign language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, her dad is, is a deaf individual, yeah. and that's how they communicate. The first question I have for you is, at what age did you begin to learn the art of sign language? Um, sign language was my sign language was my first language. Um, I was a mute until I was three years old. Three years old. Okay. And what was your first reaction having to learn? I thought, oh, learning English or learning sign language. Learning sign language. Lear um, learning sign language. Uh, for me, it was natural because that was the way I could speak to my parents. Gotcha. And who taught you? My mother and my father. And then when I, tur when I turned five years old, I went to PS 47 school for mm -hmm. the deaf and their hearing children or family members. And um, I learned more sign there. Gotcha. And how does the, how does the lessons go about? Uh, <laughs> we didn't really teach you like lessons. It was more of you had deaf and hearing teachers, there were deaf kids, so you learned by communicating. And then when I was maybe about fourth grade, um, they had an ASL class. But by that time, I was already fluent in sign language. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, now, considering that your dad who was up here uh, a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. um, how, how was it like communicating with him on a day-to-day on -day basis? compared to other people? Um, it's fine. Uh, we have our own signs. Um, I'm more comfortable with him because he is my father and I've always signed to him. So it's pretty cool. And I, I guess I would say um, uh, speaking to a hearing person is, of course, easier than it is to a deaf person that's not my parents. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell when you're speaking; it's so natural to you. <laughs> you just go up and down. Um, I think that's amazing. Um, can you talk about some of the challenges you might have gone through learning and communicating compared to other family members? Not family members, but other people that can just straight talk to their parents or other people. Um, I personally don't think I have any problems because I've, I've I've never had to compare mm -hmm. um, because both of my parents are deaf. Uh, a lot of kids have asked me, like, oh, you can get away with saying this or that. <laughs> and, and I've always been like, no, my mom can read my lips. <laughs> uh -huh. um, or, and I realize, I, like, if I do do that, uh, it, doesn't bother, it doesn't bother my mother or my father very much because they can't hear me and mm -hmm. they've already dealt with that. So it doesn't matter to them. Okay. And have you ever gotten away with it? Uh, yeah, but sometimes I've gotten caught, like, <laughs> when I was, like, 10, I said freaking, mm -hmm. and my mother was like, what did you say? <laughs> I was like, I didn't say the F word. And she's like, yes, you did. I was like, no, I didn't. I was, and I spelled it out for her, mm -hmm. and she said, that's similar. You're in trouble. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is interesting. <laughs> um, now, um... You know, you're walking on the street, you're talking to your parents, and you have to give the sign language. Do you ever get any weird reactions? Any what? Any weird reactions, perhaps? By anybody else? Yeah, by other people. Um, like on the train, like I've gotten looks from people. Every now and then somebody will ask me, how did you learn that? How do you do that? Mm -hmm. um, like, don't your hands hurt? Somebody <laughs> told me one time, like this little kid said, you're going to get arthritis. And I was like, <laughs> okay. 
Oh wow. wait, did he say it, he said in sign language? Oh no, he he was a hearing kid. He he spoke okay. to me in English. Okay. Oh, because it seemed like you emphasized you emphasized on the the sign language. I thought he was doing it too, <laughs> which was oh, pretty no. interesting. Okay, uh -oh. gotcha, gotcha. And um, can you talk to me some assumptions society might might have on deaf and hearing impaired individuals? Um, a lot of people think that deaf people are dumb. And that's not true. They just don't have hearing like other people have, but they do have other things. Like because they're deaf, they may not speak as much, but it just means that they think more than we do. For talking about sign language, and thank you for bringing your dad, David. We appreciate it. Thank you. Take care, guys.